Hi, I'm Daisy, a third year civil engineering student at UCI. Um, I chose civil engineering because growing up I would travel and I would see these historical buildings and I thought it was amazing that they were still standing or like mainly together after like so many like centuries of like different weather conditions and earthquakes and all types of things. Um, and then also looking at modern buildings and the way they like the way we've come so far in terms of like our design and everything. Um, so I thought it would be really cool to be like able to be a part of that. Um, originally I thought I would be like an architect or something, but I'm like not as creative for that. Um, so then I decided, then I learned about actually in high school civil engineering and I had never heard of it before. And I thought it was like a perfect way to like pursue my interests that I had since I was little. So that's one of the reasons, that's the main reason why I chose civil engineering. In terms of my most favorite classes at UCI, I would say in my lower division, it had to have been either engineering 7A and 7B, which is like introduction to engineering, because I got to meet different types of engineering majors and other civil engineers for the very first time. And then also it gave me like hands-on experience at a project for once, because normally you don't start projects until your third year. So it was really nice to like have that hands-on experience and get to know the engineering process. Um, or also Engineering 81A, which is um, like normally in the spring quarter of your first year. And that's like the first class that you take for civil engineering in the major. So it was really exciting to have like my first class for the very first time and like have a class with different other civil engineers and also environmental engineers. And it was also when I got um, experience in AutoCAD, which I had never done before. And I actually learned that I really loved AutoCAD in that time. So it was a very much like an introduction type of class, but it also like made me confident in my decision in civil engineering um but then like in terms of least favorite classes I'd have to say um physics 7d my first year because the subject is something I just personally very much struggled with um and then for upper division classes I really loved um fluid mechanics with professor Brett Sanders my fall quarter last quarter um, and he was just very passionate about the class and very helpful and the TAs were very helpful in the project and everything. So it was the first time I really considered water resources engineering as a specialization because they were so passionate and taught the subject very well. Um, so that has to be one of my favorite classes so far in terms of upper divs. And then one of my least favorite classes, simply because I struggled with it, um, would have been, um, civil engineering 150 which is like your first structural engineering class and like um it's the mechanics and materials class and it's taught by professor farzeen and he's a very great professor and like tries his very best to like answer questions and stuff it's just the material is very hard to like understand and wrap around um but yeah that has to have been my least favorite class so far simply because in terms of the difficulty and also probably because it was online that it did change up the class structure quite a bit so now I'm going to go over a very general type of course plan for civil engineering. So essentially in your first two years, you have to finish all your math and then you also have to take care of physics and chem. But luckily for civil engineering, you don't have to take physics 7E and you don't have to take chem 1C. So it's like you don't have to complete the full series and you only need two classes out of the three, which is really nice for civils. Um, and then also for something that's like a tip of sorts, is that in your first year you have to take um, you have to do t uh, different types of lower div technicals, and chem lab is a lower div technical, but it can be very time consuming, especially your first year if you're not used to the quarter system yet. Um, so what you can do is you can also take engineering seven A seven B, which is an intro to engineering class, and it's only two units um, for one of the classes, and it does help out and it's a bit easier to understand than all of the work that comes with chem lab so that's one of the options to take um to do engineering 7a 7b instead of chem lab as a civil engineer um and then also in your first year for civil engineering um in the spring quarter you take engineering 81a which is civil engineering practicum and that's just like a intro to civil engineering classes and you get different types of presentation presentations on the different types of like specializations and such and then also you learn um, AutoCAD for the very first time so in the lab um, you will have like a project with a team and stuff and like you just get to practice AutoCAD each week and it's a very useful skill and you can decide whether or not you like it or not there too since it's your first major class um, 
and then in your second year you take a few more major classes so you take um you also take statics um which does cover some things like trusses and can help you understand whether you're not you would possibly like structural engineering um then you also take like a few matlab courses so in civils and lower div classes you take two matlab classes your second year and um if you have prior coding experience those aren't that difficult um and the classes are genuinely pretty straightforward and then you take another um civil engineering class which is like built off of 81a and is 81b and then it goes a little bit further into civil engineering and then in your third year you take um for the very first time obviously upper division classes and they have to do with the different types of specializations so specifically uh uci offers structural engineering as a specialization transportation systems and then like water resources engineering as different types of specializations or you can be a general type of civil engineer and for general type you would take just specialization courses your fourth year from all of the different types of specializations, so you're a bit more well-rounded, or you can choose to specialize in any one of the three. Um, but essentially, in your third year, you take um, like mechanics of materials, which is engineering CE 150, and that is like the first structural engineering type of class. So it helps you decide whether you are interested in civil engineer and structural engineering, and then you also take fluid mechanics and that can help you decide whether you like water resources and then you take civil engineering 121 which is like a highway design type of class and like more related to transportation systems so with each of those three classes it covers like the basic the like the different types of the basics of like each of the different types of um, specializations so fall quarter your junior year really does help you decide or like helps you narrow down which specializations you're interested in, though it could also open your eyes to the other types that you probably weren't considering before, and I know that happened to me personally. Um, and then you continue to take general, um, like building off of the different types of specializations for the rest of your third year, and then your fourth year will consist mainly of more specialization courses um, if you choose a specialization, and then if not, then you will take the just general engineering and then do different types of, like do a few classes with like structural engineering and then a few in water and a few in transportation and like you're more well-rounded. Or again, you can choose to focus on one of them. It's also okay if you choose, if you can't decide on a specialization until like the very end of your third year. I have heard that it's perfectly okay if you choose your specialization just by the time of your fourth year comes around. So then like your third year is really a time to explore the different types of specializations. So that way hopefully by the end of it going into like maybe the summer or like spring quarter you can finally decide a specialization and then it'll help you course plan for your fourth year. And that wraps up the very general overview of civil engineering at UCI. Um, obviously. There's a few more like tips and tricks that you discover along the way and you will have your own very personal opinions on professors or things like that, but hopefully that helps you um, figure out at least like how to read a course plan, what specializations UCI specifically offers. I know different universities offer different types of specializations um, for c civil engineering that might go a little bit more in depth into some different of the fields, um, but yeah, that's civil engineering at UCI.